The first reading is from the 8th chapter of Acts, beginning with the 26th verse. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is the wilderness road. So he got up and went. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Canadians, Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, go over to this chariot and join it. So Philip ran up to it and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. He asked, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb, silent before its shearer. So he does not open his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, about whom, may I ask you, does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip began to speak, and starting with this scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. As they were going along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, look, here is water. What is to prevent me from being baptized? He commanded the chariot to stop, and both of them, Philip and the eunuch, went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch saw him no more and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself in the Zodas, and as he was passing through the region, he proclaimed the good news to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. The word of the Lord. The psalm today is Psalm 22, and we will read it responsibly by verse. From you comes my praise in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in the sight of those who fear the Lord. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow before God. Indeed, all who sleep in the earth shall bow down and down in worship. All who go down to the dust, though they be dead, shall kneel before the Lord. They shall proclaim God's deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying to them, the Lord has acted. The second reading is from the fourth chapter of 1 John, beginning with the seventh verse. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God. For God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him, and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. 
God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believed that the love that God has for us, God is love, and those who abide in God, and, and those who, uh, who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached, reached perfection in love. We love because he first loved us. Those who say, I love God, and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or a sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have never seen. The commandment we have from him is this, those who love God must love their brothers and sisters also. The word of the Lord. <laughs> 